And welcome back with another special guest. Uh, Kenneth Regan, this is Fair Play spe Specialist, and we have 1,000 questions to you. Okay, well, I can answer them at maybe rate of three a second. <laughs> <laughs> I have these stats in my head. So, yeah. what is exactly the procedure that the tournament is getting through? Well, what it gets from me is a quick overview of all the players. Uh, my system is two levels, a screening test, which does not do anything specially inventive, but it gets information rapidly um, about the, the uh, state of all the players and which players might, for instance, need to receive special scrutiny. And then in case of any dispute or any need to investigate, I have a full test where I apply full predictive analytics to uh, determine a, a statistical Z score that, that gives the likelihood of cheating or really the frequency with which this kind of performance would be observed naturally. And, and then we just can discuss it further. Yeah, we Is see this very often, yeah. Like on chess.com, we see like a overview of percentages that people get wrong. Like for example, one player has 99% correct, uh, yeah, plays correct moves. So that is basically what you're saying, I think. Yeah, that, that we're, you're trying to look at uh, how computer generated the moves are of the people playing actually. Right. Except my screening test uses a more centered scale. I centered it, center it so that 50 is the expectation for your rating and five is the standard deviation. Uh, this is the same scale as for flipping a coin 100 times. And actually on Monday in Quantum Magazine, there was an article about uh, statistical uh, evaluation of possible new physics at the Large Hadron Collider in CERN. And that article used exactly the same scale referencing coin flips but gave the number 66 for the scientist's belief and 66 is exactly my screening score scale uh, example of a number from what i call my raw outlier index so uh that, that scale just leaves a lot more room to distinguish computers would be in the high 70s from humans when you hear a human performed 99 percent on your scale it's, it is like a GPA, I understand, but it's, it's harder for me, at least, to distinguish immediately what the significance is. Okay. That sounds wow. like it's the most modern way that you can address fair play in chess to me. So we're really making headway on that, I believe, there. Yeah. <laughs> right. Well, right. This, is, this is just the screening level. It's, there's not really yeah. too much special work. Uh, involved in that. It's it's deliberately data-driven and straightforward. That sounds... I would really love to hear more about this. I'm I'm so very interested in this kind of... Uh, yeah, yeah, about the mechanics of how you use this. But unfortunately, we do have to cut it short because the next game is going to start. But yeah, I I really wish I, I could hear more about this, but unfortunately, we have to say goodbye. So That's fine. Yeah, I have a website um, off my professional page, and it has a lot of the basic information. It's old, but still gold. And articles <laughs> on the web blog, rjlipton.wordpress.com, explain a lot of my work for a wide audience. Thank you very much for having me on. Yeah, and thank, thank you. Thank you very much. much. Okay. Yes. So... Mm -hmm.